You're looking at the placard of the totem pole cactus, Lophocerea shotai, the monstrous variant, and it's named so because it's a genetic mutant. It's got no spines instead of the normal, you know, 10 centimeter woolly spines. It's smooth all over, so you won't get hurt from touching it, but strangely enough, it doesn't seem to have any natural predators. No insects eat this, probably because it's uh, poisonous or toxic. And, you know, likewise, I don't think mammals browse on most cacti species for the same reasons. So the monstrous variant has survived throughout the millennia in Baja, California, Mexico, by basically just growing uh, uninterrupted until the branches or stems eventually break off for whatever reason, you know, some dumb, clumsy big mammal rams into them or a flash flood comes along or a storm, you know, just by being a tree or any kind of large plant, eventually, after many, many decades, uh, you'll see your fair share of storms and some branches will break off. So, like the Troya cacti that I cover in some of my videos, basically each stem section is fleshy. It's got, you know, all the nutrients inside to function as an independent biological unit. So, after you break one of these stems or trunks off, and throw it somewhere else, uh, eventually it's going to rain, right? So then it can establish uh, roots and start growing new branches. So these things can't flower or seed, and their smooth appearance makes them a favorite among many gardeners. Uh, there are some people that don't like these, but I would say this is a very, very charismatic and unique looking cactus. You know, it, it looks just very innocuous and it's a very ornamental plant, a great conversational piece. Unlike the wild type, the monstrous variant doesn't need to reproduce by seeding uh, via flowering. So it doesn't have to deal with pollinators. It has no predators and it's basically one of the biggest success stories, you know, when I think about it in the plant world because, you know, it survived all this time without any interference. So it's quite an amazing plant. I didn't know about this, but there are several other variants of, you know, what's called the totem pole cactus here. 